Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly and simply make your first beat with the MPC. So when you first turn on your MPC, you're going to be brought to this main page here and we'll start by selecting new project. When you select new project, you'll be brought to this main page and this is kind of where everything stems from. This will be where you do pretty much the majority of all your work. So. We'll just do a quick rundown of what we're kind of working with here. So on the top bar, you'll see you have just kind of, this will be your countdown of um, your bars and your beats uh, based on how many bars you've selected here. So here you can change it to whatever you want. We'll leave it at two just to once again, keep things super simple. Next, we have time correct. If you hit that, it will show you that it's on and it will show you the division that you've chosen and you can also turn it off. Um, for the sake of this video, we'll leave it on and we'll put it to one quarter and I'll show you later on kind of how that works. Next, you have your metronome. If you don't know what a metronome is, it will help you time your beats by giving you like a little sound, like a little right here we have it's set to click, so it will make a little clicking noise at a rate of one quarter. And we have it enabled, so it'll only click when we're recording. And it will also do a, a count in for you before it starts recording, which you'll also see here when we get started. Uh, like I said before, here's your bars, so you can change that to whatever you want. And that will just kind of be the length of your project or song that you're making here. So we'll just leave it at two. Um, and then start and you don't really need to, there's not much going on there. And then here, uh, if you turn this on, which it's on right now, it will do a full, so it'll play the full two bars and then it will loop again and just keep looping. If you turn it off, then it will just play from start to finish from your two bars. So we'll leave that on. So that's, that's pretty much the basics of kind of what you need to know here just to get started. So, so now let's find some sounds. How can we play off these pat? Like, cause right now there's nothing going on, right? How do we get some sound on the pads? So we'll go to, you'll see this is selected as drum one. So under here, we'll hit browse. So under browse, if you hit drums, these are all preset kits that come with your MPC. They're already um, stock with the MPC. So everyone should have the same shit going on here. So just go through them and pick one that you like and we'll go, th go from there. So we'll just go through. Okay, so so I like this one. So in order to select it, I'll just push down on the knob, or you can double tap it with your finger. But so I clicked it. You'll see it's loading. So now it's loaded. So anytime you want to go back to your main page, there's this button right here. It will always bring you back to the main page where we started our project. So. Now that we're here, you can see that your pads are all lit up now. So now when you hit them, now they're, now your pads are all loaded up and good to go. So you're pretty much ready to start making your first beat. So we're set to two bars. So we'll just kind of, we'll keep it super simple. So we'll just try and get something going. So I'll just record a simple little beat going here. So in order to record, you want to hit record and then you go to play start. And when you hit play start, your metronome will start timing you in. So like I said, the timing correct is on right now and it's set to one quarter. So just to kind of show you a visual of what's going to happen here is this is kind of your grid for your two bars. So here's one bar, one bar, and then two bar. So, and it's divided into quarters. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So when I start playing and say I hit the pad and it, it goes, you know, not exactly on the one quarter or here 
or within the quarters, let's say I hit it and it's somewhere in the middle here, the timing correct will nudge it back or forward to be perfectly on those quarters and it will help me so I can, it's kind of like, it's kind of like putting the rails up when you go bowling. Like it, it makes sure that you stay in line with where you're supposed to be. So, so the timing correct on, it will keep it perfectly on B in one quarter divisions. Hopefully that makes sense. So, so now, okay, we've hit record and we're going to hit play and I'm just going to play, um, every other quarter, just a little beat. So hit play start. So now it's, it's recorded the two bars and now it's playing over in a loop. And you'll notice that the metronome's still clicking because after you record, it automatically switches over to overdub. When it switches to overdub, that means that it's still recording and anything I hit now will start recording over top of what I've just recorded. So just be aware of that because sometimes you can start, you know, playing around and you're like, oh shit, I just recorded a whole bunch of stuff I didn't want to. So just, I'm going to turn that off for now. And now it's still playing the loop. So now we can kind of play around with what, like, what do we want to add to this? So. Okay, that sounds good. So maybe we'll add this into the to the one and the three in between the, the two beats that we just put in. So first I'll start, I'll hit stop, and then we'll hit overdub this time, not record, because if I hit record, it's gonna clear out everything I just did and then just record what I'm about to record. So we'll do overdub, and then we'll hit play start again, and then we'll we'll play in what we just what we just said there. So play start. I'll turn that off again. There we go. So now we got a little, you know, we got a little something going on here with the two bars. So let's see what else we can add. So, okay, maybe we'll add, you know, this little tune at the start. So once again, we'll have stop. And then we'll go overdub, play from start, it will time you in. So there you go. I'm just trying to keep things, you know, extremely simple just to kind of get the point across so we can, you know, start with a good foundation and then build on that. So I'm not trying to make something super complicated or make anything that's going to go over anybody's head here, but you kind of get the idea. You kind of just, you know, just keep layering things on top of what you've started with. And then, as I said, with the overdub, like once you record something, every time you hit overdub, now you're adding another layer on top of what you made and then that will build your overall loop of sounds to make your your little project here so that's kind of the basics of it and you know there's a million other things you can do with this and but uh, this video is just meant to you know be a quick uh just starter video so you can just at least you know play around with the pads make your first little loop and just kind of get the basic idea of what's going on without overwhelming anybody so I hope that helps. Okay, so after you start playing around with this for a little bit and you start to feel comfortable and you've built a pretty good foundation for yourself, check out this next video here and I'll show you how to take your beats to another level.